piece of his peas, man. <laughs> hey, look, the Sons of Liberty was opposing the stamp back in 1765, right? America ain't get their independence until 1776, so it might take 5, 10, 15, 20 years to really galvanize the people behind this idea of us having a nation here, but we gonna be free, and Africa gonna be united. Yeah, we gotta cut these diaspora, diaspora wars out, you feel me? Yeah, man, we gotta wait on some of you old cats to just die. That's the sad part about this shit, dog. It's the same situation we was on the plantation. We come to the old school, be like, look, we gonna run tonight, man. You get away from us with that runaway talk, you was gonna get us all in trouble, like, man. I <laughs> hey, cut this slave shit out, hey, Gramps. Come on, man. We out here. It's all good, man. We go be free. And as far as this uh, Juneteenth thing, man, I say this is a Texas cat born and raised in Texas, bro. We don't give a fuck if nobody else this black celebrate that holiday. Because it ain't a holiday, bro. It ain't an Independence Day either. What it is is a day to remember what our ancestors went through. Now, yeah, we on barbecue. <laughs> and we from Texas. That's what we do. We barbecue on a Monday, bro. That don't got nothing to do with nothing, bro. It ain't an Independence Day, bro. Independence Day is for nations, fam. It's just a day to remember our ancestors. And remember that these white people gonna be white people, meaning that they not gonna be good on their word, because they kept us enslaved longer than they were supposed to. And they really wasn't supposed to enslave us at all, but that disunity is how we got there, huh? The diaspora wars, diaspora wars. <laughs> it's crazy as hell, man.